we are learning about this if condition and in this if condition we are putting basically some logic and based on that logic if it is true then we are running this block else we are running this code but what will happen if i'm having more than one decision so now let's assume that i'm having a situation where i need to display all four weeks of a month so it means if the day is less than seven it means it is first week or if it is greater than seven and less than 14 or equal to 14 then it is the second week then how can we handle that situation in this if block so let's understand with the wrong approach or basically the bad approach so over here i can use multiple if blocks for example let's use it like this okay and here let's say i'm writing this 14 or i can also use it like this and i can use this end and operator so here i'm writing if the day is greater than seven or greater than equal to seven but just understand the concept so what i'm having i'm having two if blocks so first is if the day is less than seven then this part will work for example if the date is 10 so first what will happen we will check this condition this is false so this part will not work then again we will come here in this if block again we will check this condition this condition is true and only this part will work in the same approach you can use multiple if conditions now let's assume that you are having four or five conditions over here and you have written the individual if block for all those conditions right so what is the problem in this approach the problem in this approach is that we are checking this condition every time let's assume that the condition is true only at this first place so it means we only want to execute these lines but because we have used different if blocks so it means first this part will be executed although we know that this is the correct path but still this part will also be executed and remember if you are having some different kind of very complex logic in this if condition then this will take some time and even it is taking very less time it means it is taking some time and managing every small time makes the difference in the performance of the application so let's assume that you are having four or five blocks then checking all those conditions will take some time so what is the best approach the best approach is that here we can use else if block so here it is else if like this now what is the benefit of this else if for example if this condition is true then none of the further conditions will be checked for example if i'm having let's say one more or these conditions over here so basically you can change this condition as per your need let's say it is 14 and like this and here i'm writing this 21 or i'm considering only 30 so don't focus too much on these numbers just focus on the concept so this is the concept that i have written over here now what is the benefit so benefit is for example if the day is one so first this condition will be checked and because it is true none of them will be checked on the other hand if let's say the date is 10 so first this condition will be checked then this condition will be checked and the condition is true over here so none of the rest conditions will be checked right this is how we can use the else if block and along with this else if we can also use the else block it means if none of this condition is true then this part will work this is how you can use if else if and else over here remember you can have only one single if you can have only one single else but you can have multiple else if and if you are using the else if then you have to write your condition over here there is no need to write the condition in the else because if none of them is true then this will always work that is all in this video thank you for watching